I Mud, Star Trek Season 2 Original Series. Uh, we are continuing <laughs> our reviews of this one. This one's a bit goofy, right? Uh, we're going to talk about this episode using my space, system, story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score. Between 0 and 2, 2 is the best you can get. I'm going to give the storyline a 1. I was actually into this one, and then it went goofball. But Mud, I think, is kind of a fun character. So he's there. He escaped from his imprisonment or whatever. He's on this planet of androids, and he somehow an android got aboard... Uh, I guess it went through Starfleet. I don't know how it got there, but it got there somehow. This is one of the things why I can't give this more than a one. The androids there on Starfleet somehow, it, it, it passed regulations. Nobody checked it. Nobody gave it a scan. It just appeared there. Whatever. It's there. So, okay. Takes control of the ship. No one can stop it because of, you know, reasons. Um, goes to this planet. It's all androids. And they just want to please us and, 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 and check us out and see what we're doing. It's a bit standard for me. Um, Mud is kind of funny because he's created all these like really attractive women androids and there's like 500 of each model. <laughs> You're like, all right, like, does he like, like, he just goes to that, you know, that number one guy, Norman or whatever. He just goes, hey, Norman, I want 500 of this woman. You know, like he's like, oh, I want Scarlett Johansson. And then he shows the picture of her and he's like, make 500 of her. And they're like, okay, I don't know, what do you need 500 of the same one? Um, even Spock questions that. Anyways, so that's kind of fun. There's some silly banter, but it starts to get real goofy. So this is another one of these, we have to confuse the androids. So we have to make them, you know, we have to break their logic circuits. I've seen these, like there's too many of these at this point, And they're like, oh, let's behave like goofs and dance around and be silly. And I'm just like, uh, it's just too silly. Um... Yeah, I can't. It's it's goofy. <laughs> uh, for the pacing, I'll give it a one. Uh, it's not boring or anything really, but I feel like just like nothing's going on. Like I feel like it's like okay, they're there, and then oh, we gotta make you know we've gotta just make them you know bust the logic circuit, and then we've solved everything. Well, okay. There's a good part with Yahura where. Um, she plays a factor in how they're going to try to escape. Like she pretends she wants to be immortal. And that was kind of a neat part. Gave her something to do, I guess. Talk about the characters in a minute. The artistry, I'll actually give the artistry a 1.5. Um, I like the little, you know, it's, it's sets, but I do like the lighting and I am watching the upgraded versions. So there's some cool parts where um, the, the Norman fellow shows his circuitry and they've, they've digitally like removed kind of like the flapping effect, like the lines. So like he opens his like, he opens his like chest up and it looks pretty neat. Like it looked like they've digitally fixed it up a bit. So it looks really cool. Um, lighting's good. Costumes look really cool. I like all the Android costumes are really neat. So yeah, it, everything looked good. Music's good, all that stuff. But uh, can't, obviously there's no, you know, ship battles. It's not like the Doomsday Machine or whatever. It's where there's like this awesome thing. So um, 1.5 is pretty fair. For the characters, I'll give it a 1. Um, I like the crew. I like, you know, Harry's okay. The androids are just the androids. I it, it, like, it's just, they, there's just so many goofy things going on. Uh, Chekhov is kind of hit or miss for me. Um, if I had to rank the original series characters, he's definitely the lowest. Um... I don't really find his antics very funny and his like always talking about how great Russia is. It's like, I get it that that was kind of like a funny thing to do at the time. It just doesn't age well for me. I'm just like, ugh. Uh, so he's kind of the weakest. This one, it was almost cool because you almost had everybody. You just didn't really have Sulu uh, do anything, but like, like oh, man, it was almost everybody was good. It was, was doing something. So we almost had an episode with all of the guys in one, in one episode. But yeah, um, it's all right. Uh, enjoyment factor, I'll give it a one. Like it's okay. Mud's kind of a fun character that his his wife is the his wife is irritating. Um, I, I, and they're like, oh, it's 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 so funny. I'm like, yeah, but she really is irritating, and like I despise her. So I I don't know. There's a lot of comedy in this, and it's just not working for me. Maybe it works for you. If it works for you, let me know in the comments what you thought. I don't want to I don't want to beat this episode up, but I'm giving it a five point five out of ten. So it's definitely on the lower tier for me. Um, I think I liked the original Muds, Muds Women better. I think it had a, a neater thing. And there was the mystery of Mud, I guess, in the beginning, and the mystery of the women. This was just like, yeah, the androids are just there to be there. 
But um, there you have it, 5.5. .5. If you like my space system, please like the video. Check out the playlist for the Star Trek reviews. I'm going to do, do them all, the animated series and the movies. Anything with Kirk and Spock in it or anything. Oh, no, sorry, not nothing after when JJ took over. I'm not doing any of that. I don't know if I'll do Next Gen and, and DS9 and Voyager and, and Enterprise. And I actually love all of those Star Trek shows. I love all of it. I love all the Star Trek shows, the real Star Trek shows. I do love them all. I don't think I'm going to go through everything. Maybe, maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I will go through them all. I don't know. I'll, I'll see. There's a lot, though, of Next Gen, DS9 and Voyager, though. Maybe I'll do Enterprise because that's a bit shorter. But anyways, check out my friend Clobber in Times. He is actually going to, through every episode of Star Trek. So there's 735 real Star Trek things, whether that's like an, an episode or a film, whatever. He's going through them all. Him and his team, Saturday Night Star Trek. Every Saturday night, they're going through every damn episode and scrutinizing it and going through all the plot points and details and all that stuff. So check them out. Um, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Until next time.